All right, so we've mixed up our plaster and we poured up our impression. The plaster is white. It's actually much more porous, so the increments versus the stone you, um, is 190 grams of the powder to 100 milliliters of water. So much more water to use for the plaster and the plaster is actually a lot more um, fragile. So when you separate, you wanna be a little more careful when you're separating the impression and the model. I'm gonna show you a different technique to build up the base versus what we did for the stone. So in the stone, we had it just the tray and then we stacked the materials. We're gonna do a different method. It's called the inverted. So you're just gonna actually pile on your excess stone, um, not stone, but the plaster on your tile. Quite a bit of it, because you'll have um, a lot of excess in your bowl. Okay, and again, our goal is to get about an inch or so of a base. And then you're going to take your impression that's already filled up with plaster to the top and you're gonna actually flip it over. And so again, that's inverted. Give it just a small little push so that um, smushes the plaster and then you're gonna take your spatula and just pull it up onto the impression, not too far along the tray because again, you don't want it to lock on there. And just a little bit. If you have too much and it kind of squishes all the way around, you can just remove that with your spatula. If your material's too runny, you want to wait before you do this method because if you put it on there, it's going to look like a pancake and it spreads out too much and then you'll have too thin of a base. So you need to let it set before you do this technique. 